Hello and welcome to the Commander's Quarters. I'm your host, Mitch. Glad to have you here. Here at the Commander's Quarters, we're all about Commander on a Budget. Hey everyone, Mitch coming in from the Commander's Quarter studio, and there was a really exciting announcement from Wizards today that's got a lot of Magic players, especially Commander players, excited, so let's jump into it. So today, Wizards announced the Double Master set. According to them, it's a set filled to the brim with powerful and popular reprints. It's set to come out on August 7th of 2020. In the 15 card booster packs, they're including two rares and two foil cards per pack. There are going to be a total of 332 cards in the set, and there's going to be 24 packs in a box if you want one. And also with that booster box is going to come two non-foil borderless showcase box topper cards. And hopefully those box toppers are a good indication of the powerful and popular reprints that they are talking about. So with this announcement, Wizards doubled everything, including the links to this announcement. And if you want to read all the details on these, check out those links in the description. But essentially, in each of these links, they included two of the potential box toppers. And these box toppers also got some new amazing art. The first one being Doubling Season, which is a heavily played card in Commander that is really expensive. Currently, the cheapest version is around $56. Token decks, plus one, plus one counter decks, and Planeswalker decks love this card. So the more supply that's out there, the better it is for a lot of Commander players. The other box topper that was shown off in the second link was Blightsteel Colossus. You know, just another extremely popular and expensive card in Commander. The current price for Blightseal Colossus is around $80. So again, hopefully these box toppers are good indicators of the value that comes in this set. According to Wizards, every box of Double Masters comes with two non-foil showcase box toppers, which are pulled from a pool of 40 fan favorite cards in beautiful full art treatments. So outside of these two, let's hope that the 38 live up to that hype as well. Commander players have been asking for reprints for a lot of popular and expensive cards for a long time. And with Double Masters, it looks like we might not have to wait all the way until Commander Legends to get some of those reprints. But there was also one card that was spoiled that wasn't intended to be spoiled by Wizards. Apparently a certain card showed up on a different version of their site. So Atraxa players rejoice because you're getting a new art reprint. With this full art treatment, it looks like Atraxa is another one of the potential box toppers. And currently Atraxa's price is around $43, so that's also a valuable reprint as well. From the looks of it, there's going to be a lot of Commander-focused reprints, so this has got me really excited. Now, I don't expect Blightsail Colossus or Doubling Season to become budget anytime soon, or ever, but there's definitely other cards that could be reprinted that could now be budget-friendly. Also, one more quick thing, this afternoon at 2.30pm Pacific Standard Time on Twitch.tv slash Magic, Wizards are going to be talking more about the draft experience of this set. So if you want to check that out, I've got a link in the description for that as well. And yeah, that's the news that came out today about Double Masters, so make sure you comment below and let me know what you think is going to be reprinted in that set, or, or what you want reprinted. Hint, hint, wink, wink, Wayfarer's Bobble. Wayfarer's Bobble, Wayfarer's Bobble. So comment below with Wayfarer's Bobble. Thanks again, and have a good one. And make sure you're following us on social media for more updates and sneak peeks on future episodes. Again, a huge thank you to my patrons who help make this show possible. I truly couldn't do any of this without your support. If you want to support this channel directly, consider becoming a patron. There are many benefits to being a patron, including being able to vote on future commanders for deck tax. There are even tiers where you get your own personalized deck tech dedicated to you. You can check out all the Patreon tiers and rewards at patreon.com slash commanders quarters. If you haven't already, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. Here at the Commander's Quarters, we're all about budget commander. So while you're at it, go ahead and check out some of our other types of episodes. And with that, I'm out of here. Thanks again and have a good one.